guys today i'll be teaching you guys how to download immersive real routing for Pojab launcher and i know this might sound impossible because of the white screen problem that's been going on uh, i'll i actually know how to fix it so in this video i'm going to teach you how to get it how to get immersive real routing and how to fix a white screen problem hi right, so let's begin so as usual you want to go to chrome Right. Then you want to go into a new tab, and you want to search up. Or you want to search up. You say, uh, yeah, forge. Right. I search that up. Now we go for here. Now you want to look for one point sixteen point five, or I'll use, for me I'll use 1.12.2 so you want to go to 1.12.2 download the recommended one all right now it's going to uh, take you here now you want to wait five se uh, you want to wait a few minutes few seconds then on top over here oh wait you'll see there's the skip button now what you want to do is you want to click the skip download anyways or details open it up you see that this is there okay so now that it's downloaded now what do you want to do you want to go to Pojab launcher right over here now you want to open open game directory right here now what you want to do is you want to go to downloads then forge 1.2.2 You want to take this, you see, okay, and you want to go and move to over here, Pojab launcher, move. Now, what you want to do is you want to get out and execute a dot jar. Go to Pojab launcher, Forge 1.2.2. And wait up. So it's gonna take some time, but uh, you don't have. Now you wanna install client. It's gonna start installing. Right, let it install up. Right, let's do this. All right, now you'll see successfully installed client profile for for version 1.12.2. Right, you wanna press OK. Then you want to force close, OK. And then if you go over here at the bottom, you'll see this arrow thing, right? Right next to the pencil. Now you want to click that arrow, you'll see what you want to do. You want to click that. And now what you want to do is you're going to keep it like that. Now we're going to download the rest of the stuff. Before doing that, I have to do real quick. All right, you want to go into here. I'm gonna press play, open this up to check the you know loading process. So what this does is it enables the resource packs and mods. So that's gonna be useful because we're downloading the immersive reloading mods. So yeah. I also teach you all the how to install all the configs for all everything in this, like the up, down, you know, throttle up, throttle down, everything of that. Right now we press OK. Now this will all, you know, then do its thing. So that that's happening. We wait a bit, and we wait. As so, actually, while this is happening, you can also exit. And then what you gonna do? You can go back to Chrome. I, I will go over here. We're gonna open up a new tab. And you're gonna search up first for nice. Now we search that up. We're gonna go to curse code. Got a lag there, huh? So now that we're here, what you wanna do is we're gonna Minecraft Java edition. 
So I'll go over here, find craft mods. I will search up two to three things, okay? Immersive reloading. That's one of the main things, right? Let's search up immersive reloading. Now that that's searching up, I. So the first one by a uh, cam 72 cam. Uh, go to immersive reloading. Now what you want to do is there's going to be a lot of stuff here. So like immersive reloading, universal mod core, and track API. We need all three of this. So first we're going to go to immersive reloading. I'm going to go to files. Then what you want to do is when you're at files, I'll just wait for it to load up. Then you want to go filter by 1.2.2 right here. Now you want to download the topmost one. Right? You want to download. And then I will say immersive reloading will start downloading in 4321. Now it's gonna give you the link. Yeah, not download anyways. And now while that's happening, you can uh, reverse and then go back and go back and go back and go back until we make it here again to camp somewhere to camp. Now what you want to do is you want to look for universe. Uh, since I am already here on his website, uh, on his profile, you can go to his uh, projects and check. Or you could just search up all the things here. So now you want to do is you want to search up for universal mod core or get or go in and go into here. Universal mod core by camp 72 camp. Now what you want to do, you want to go to files, all game versions. When you want to do the same thing for with like the machine reloading so now you want to go to uh, take the top one uh download it doesn't matter which one you take but i'm just doing it for the sake of authenticity i guess hello right uh so downloading file now that's downloaded now we're gonna get out yeah so you want to go back to his profile or you have to go and search up track api so once you search up track api you want to go to files i then you want to go to all game versions 1.12.2 then so the topmost one download and yeah basically now you could download immersive engineering which can be used but i'm not gonna i'm not gonna download anything more because i'm gonna just try to do the asap now what you want to do is you want to go uh, back to Pojav launcher by that by there by now all your things all your uh, downloads should be downloaded right and then you want to go back to Pojav launcher hey we're back in 1.2.2 what you want to do is you want to just quit the game yeah we quit because why because when we go back to Pojav launcher open up the game directory uh, you will see now in Pojav Launcher, uh, yeah, uh, Forge 1.2.2. And now, what do you want to do? Is you want to go to the three dots over here at the corner. You want to go click on that. Then you want to show hidden files. Now, what you'll see is dot Minecraft and dot cache. You want to go to Minecraft, and then you'll see here mods and resource packs. So this is the main stuff here. Okay. Now we are going to go to mods. And this is where we're gonna, we're gonna put all the stuff that we just downloaded into. So we wanna go back to downloads. Now we wanna uh, select these three. And that track API. So once you've downloaded all of this, make sure that everything is from for 1.12.2 and nothing more. You wanna go to the, the three dots up here, move to, and then you wanna click on these three lines. Pull your launcher dot minecraft mods i want to move here all right now that everything goes into there now what do you want to do go back to poja launcher check if your files are there dot minecraft mods and yes as you can see immersive ray loading track api and universal mod core is here now what do you want to do is we're going to download a resource pack for this it's called voxel trains so we're gonna download voxel trains for this because of course we're not 
because it gives a lot of more tracks, lot more trains and all that. Now I'm gonna search for Minecraft mods. Voxel trains. So now that we're here, there is this one. You'll see immersive road railroading Belgian. And then there's also a lot of other stuff like Korean voxel trains, immersive railroading, a Chinese pack, whatever, whatever. The one thing we're looking for here is this one. Voxel train IR by Captain Skipper SNG. I'm gonna click on his file. It's gonna say VT over here. Now what you wanna do is you wanna go to Voxel Trains. Uh, once you load into here, Voxel Trains, you wanna go to Files. Now what you wanna do is all game versions 1.2.2. Now you'll see a Voxel Trains V5. You can download the V1, V2, V3, V4, V5. But I'll choose the V5 because we want the most of it. Right, so we are here. Voxel Trains IR. So download and start in one sec. And now it's gonna start downloading. See? Uh, it's gonna take some time. I'll let it take. I mean, we're getting a lot of out of this. Now, before, while that's happening, we go to Poja Launcher. Now that everything's working, uh, after that is installed, I'm gonna tell you where to put that in. You don't wanna put it into the mods folder. Once that's downloaded, you wanna take that into the resource packs that is next to the mods. Now we wait until this is downloaded. I'll tell you guys, I'll catch on to you guys once this is downloaded. So, as you can see right here, Voxel Trains V5 has now downloaded. Now, once that's downloaded, what you want to do is you want to open up the game directory again. Open the game directory. Now, what you want to do, go back to downloads, Voxel Trains V5, select that. Go over here, move to. Now, we want to move this. Go to pojavlauncher.minecraft Resource packs this time And then you want to move After that's done You want to go and check if it's there or not Right? So as you can see the zip folder is here Now what you want to do Is You want to close everything Okay? Just close everything Right? Now you want to go to Poja Launcher. Alright, now I'll tell you guys The thing which will solve the widescreen problem right you want to go into this pencil option right here you know press the pencil option right so uh, over here you'll see uh, all of these run times the renderer so now what you want to do is you want to click on the renderer change it to either holy gls 4 es or zinc vulcan but for me i use holy gls right but for the sake of this video, we're gonna use Zig Vulcan. Okay, now you wanna press save. Go back and check. Yeah, it's there. Press save. Then what do you wanna do? And now you wanna press play. It's gonna take a bit of time, but don't worry. Now once we're in this, uh, we wait, right? And once this loads up, I'll tell you guys when it loads. Uh, then we're gonna start. Alright guys, now you can see that Minecraft Java Edition is now running. Now, we're gonna download all these things. Right? So, we'll wait for this thing to you know, go away. on to you guys as soon as this ends hi right, guys now you can see that minecraft java edition has finally loaded so now what you want to do is you can make a set uh, make a world i'm gonna make a flat world creative new world i'm gonna name this immersive railroading boom done now what you want to do is we are loading to this world now, once we load in, hopefully, 
once we load into the immersive reloading we should not have a white screen problem okay now we're going to go into loading world building terrain it's going to take some time but just waited so zero percent all right the world is almost complete loading terrain i now Yo, so now we're going to inventory. Now let's see one out of two over here. So basically, now what you're gonna have to do? Okay, I got that. Alright, now what you wanna do is fingers crossed. Uh, once we go into the second field, we won't have a white screen problem. Hey, what the heck? Huh? We're not having white screen problems. Yo, let's go! Alright, so this is what I was talking about. Uh, we will not have any white screen problems. As you can see, I'm gonna take out one of these trains. Wait, let me take one of these guys. I'm gonna take out an A5 switcher. I'll grab some track. Alright, now I'm gonna place some track down. Boom, track placed. That E5 switcher down. Yo, we got some trains now. Let's go. So yeah, basically the problem was that our renderer, uh, the normal uh, renderer from our phones, wasn't powerful enough to render this, uh, the uh, the you know, shading and all this like other stuff that was in this. I. Right? So the problem was that now we're. Now that we have this, now that we have an advanced renderer for this, it's more than capable of being able to get into this.